everyone, welcome back to our slow channel vlog. We are Daniel and Susie from Vietnam. In this special vlog, we're gonna do a whole video in English for everyone to know about our life at university. So it's gonna be a little bit longer than other videos. Currently, we are MBA students at University Canada West starting from the fall 2021 and we are now in the third term there's always lots of assignment with projects for us to do each week so please if you have any questions about the admission requirements or any information about our university please feel free to contact ucw by emails on website or social media such as facebook or instagram so let's go to school with us Normally, we take the Expo Line SkyTrain from 29th Avenue to the Grandview Station. The view is stunning looking from here. Granville, which means we are at the downtown of the Vancouver city and there's lots of people with different cultures. The station is underground and we have to go upstairs to take the bus to the university. We usually take the bus number 4, 7, 10, 14, 16 and 50 to track street stop and then we walk to school. This takes us around 5 to 10 minutes. Here is our school top view on the bridge, but we have to go another way. Now, because this is not a campus tour video, but only our uni life, so we will explore some corners of UCW for you guys. Welcome to our new Vancouver House campus. It firstly opened on our phone 2021 term and there are two buildings which are east and west. To enter the building, we must have a student ID card to check in. Our class today is on 4th floor. This is the lobby for students to take a break, prepare for the next class. Our university has a multicultural environment because all the students come from different countries and cultures. We can all learn from each other and exchange information to enhance our culture and emotional intelligence. The classrooms are modern, equipped with large TV screens and warm heat. Usually, we study in this room. However, today is a presentation day, so we have to move to another room. Let's discover other floors. The second floor is for the academic and career center. Any student can have supports here as you can see in the instruction on the red wall. UCW also provides the transparent bags for our umbrellas to avoid wetting the floor. Now we are on the third floor of West Building. Here are two gaming machines for students to play and relax.
He is the student lounge for students to enjoy their own meal and have some cup of coffees. Here is the study part for team to discuss their projects. Another interesting place is the meeting part. This designs for students who need a quiet place to focus on studying. So cool, right? This beautiful wall is located on the fourth floor of its building. Here is the view of the computer lab. We usually go outside to enjoy the fresh air and take many beautiful photos. Now, let's go to the library. Regarding our feelings when studying as an international student in Vancouver, at the first time, we sometimes feel lonely and stressed by lack of relationships here. However, in our third term, we are getting used to the environment and always getting support from our friendliness UCW community. The professor and classmates coming from various cultures. Also, UCW professors are always hear us carefully despite any different accent. They encourage us to speak more and share our working experience in each country. It is such a memorable experience to study in a multicultural business university. The reason why we choose to study here because we love Vancouver as a warm city covered with mountains and beaches. Secondly, I think each student will have different feelings, but for us, the value we received from UCW community is worthwhile because we can learn something new every day from our professor, lecturers, and classmates, regardless of their backgrounds, majors, and cultures. In terms of the tuition fee, it is an affordable budget because we can gain scholarships for the Southeast Asia students for each term if we can maintain the specific score for each subject. Concerning the assignment and exams, before getting to the class, you will have a syllabus to follow. The workload is very heavy because being in a master degree, you have to push your efforts to achieve it and learn how to manage the time smartly between studying and working part-time. As we know that students usually get a part-time job during studying. Now, let's move to the activities at UCW. This is the student group's recruitment day, which allows students clubs and organizations to recruit more members and hold any events.
everyone in the organizers was friendly and guided us a lot. is our GOTME representatives who have students to clarify about our university insurance and other supporting program. And now this is our International Students Club held by Ms. Thao Nguyen aka Helen. Here are all my Vietnamese students such as Cherry, Helen and Alex. She is working hard to introduce our clubs to more students. This is such an interesting activity, right? To have more friends and build up your connections. Coming to our second club is Listen to Your Soul, hosted by An Vong, aka Alice. We are Vietnamese too. And this is Ellen. And this is An Vong. Stage introduced to us our club's flyers. Beautiful, right? That's our two clubs, and we are here to support students by providing information, events, experience, or just to listen to each other to avoid stress from studying and working. Next, we are at the booth of Hong Kong Students Club. They provide us with lots of information about Hong Kong culture, history, and food. After that, we stopped at the Art Club, which is very creative and attractive. We can easily design any figures we like based on their guideline. When the events finished, we had pizza with drinks to celebrate and contribute and exchange ideas with UCW representatives. Hi everyone, now the second interesting event is Holy and Nauru's celebration from UCW. This is a combination of two celebrations. Holy is a Hindu festival that celebrates spring, love and new life. Nauru's is known as Persian New Year, celebrating for the arrival of the spring. This is Zenny, my Vietnamese friend. We are celebrating Alex's birthday. Both celebrations are worldwide for all people to enjoy. We are very happy and excited to be here. Hopefully in the future, our Vietnamese students community can have a Vietnamese Lunar New Year celebration at UCW, which is called Tết Nguyên Đan for students can join too. Here is Mochi, she is Vietnamese student newcomer here. This is UCW merchandises, selling university souvenirs such as sweaters, t-shirts, pants, umbrellas, or notebooks. We just bought two sweaters of UCW, let's have a look. Here is a speech from our friend Helen and Alex to introduce themselves as UCW MBA students. Hello, welcome to UCW. I am Helen Nguyen and currently I'm a student in UCW in the second term. And um, according to me, UCW is the place where I can share the knowledge and experience with uh, the multinational students from all around the world. So it is a really great experience for me to study here. And uh, also recently, I just uh, joined in the member of the International Student Club. And it is a really great opportunity for me to interact with the people 
own water supply. So uh, also uh, the campus also open after COVID-19. So it is um, like a change for all of the students to meet each other directly and uh, they can discuss and network with each other. And uh, I think um, my experience here is a very rich um, experience for my student life to learn new things, get more networking and uh, also prepare for my career in Vancouver uh, as well as uh, my um, PR in the Canada in the future. So I hope that you will have great um, experience in uh, UCW and also in Vancouver in the future. Thank you. Hello guys, uh, welcome to U2 University Canada West. Uh, my name is Alex, so I'm currently a, a student of the tier 4 uh, in uh, this university. So I'm really proud to have a chance to study here because this place offers a very great uh, academic program as well as uh, many workshops and events you know, in order for students to improve their skill uh, to prepare for their uh, career success in the future. So uh, that's it. Uh, I really uh, hope to have a chance to meet you guys soon in the UCW. Thank you. Okay, so normally after our class hours, we usually have a walk in the park. Its name is David Lamb Park. In spring, it was filled with beautiful cherry blossoms. Another place is Burrard Station. Finally, it is on Austria Avenue near the Joyce Collingwood Station. After watching cherry blossoms blooming, we have a date with our UCW Vietnamese friends to watch Vancouver Whitecaps soccer game at BC Place Stadium. We bought this ticket by using UCW discounted promotions for students. Therefore, a ticket costs $30 for a 19 minutes game. This is a lobby for selling food and beverages, also with Whitecaps FC souvenirs. This is the first time we've ever watched a live soccer game. Let's enjoy the game with our friends. Vancouver Whitecaps win the game.
And now it's time to say goodbye and thank you so much for watching this vlog until the end. We are proud to be part of UCW students and will support our university by many positive ways. See you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.